What's going on guys, Aussie here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have Foot Champ Highlights Part 2 and if you guys haven't seen Part 1, the link will be in the description. But we did currently end on 15 and 0 and it was all going well until something happened that you will be seeing. Anyway, so we still broke in the same team, Zambrotta, Firmino, St. Maximum, Neymar are my attackers. I did sub off Firmino and Zambrotta and play a Dharma Trial Ray with Daniel James on 5 chem. As you clearly can see, my team is not getting any better. And apparently this team, this guy's team is really, really good. Now he gets a wide open chance here. He does a beautiful finish shot. And 26 minutes in, he does go 1-0 up. Now we do in the 45th minute here have an opportunity. St. Maximum, little finesse around the corner. I played it, but it was apparently... It was, this, like, this game was delayed. This guy is also a top 100 player. A really good player to be fair to him. We do do him dirty there with and make it 1-0. But come on now. I believe the delay is still getting towards us. Back, uh, back Yoku. That was meant for a Dharma trail raid. We move at the end of the day. That should be a goal. We've seen it go in plenty of times. But we move. A Dharma trail raid to St. Maximum. St. Maximum for a wide open finish. I have no words to explain how I am not winning right now. But look what he does. A Cruyff down straight into me. And he goes 2-1 up. What do you want me to do? Literally, he's gone straight into me. It was the worst turn someone can possibly do. And somehow, he has came out of that. And we do end up losing our first game. There's nothing I can say. The game was delayed. I do believe he is from Poland as well. So, the, you know, the connection wasn't going to be great either way. I'm not that pissed that Rio Ferdinand moved out of the way. I'm more pissed off that... Boateng didn't get the ball even though he turned straight into me and that was like the most frustrating bit especially after missing two or three chances that could have gone on the could have gone in on the other side but our next opponent does have a really good team as well for both you know uh, moments card he's got the sun card as well looking like a really decent team and it's most likely going to be a really good game 26 minutes in though we do go one nil up looking very very good mendy on the ball through balls adama adama Going down the wing, the guy does end up getting a red card. A stupid tackle from my opponent, which clear of day he shouldn't have done. But, you know, it, it just happens sometimes because I'm not going to lie. I've had a red card in part one and it, you get carried away a little bit. Let's just say that. I believe that should be going in all day of the week as well. And that should be 2-0, but it clearly isn't. 53rd minute now, Neymar to St. Maximum. St. Maximum, heel to heel, ball roll away from the player, fake shot. Can we get a near post shot? We do all of that work just so the ball doesn't go in the back of the net. Quite annoying, but we do get another chance here. What, what, am I meant, what am I actually meant to do at this point? Because I'm having so many shots, but the ball is not going into the back of the net. The only thing I can do is keep trying until it eventually decides it wants to go in. And that is going to be 2-0. And it was literally the only reason the guy stayed for that long. But looking at this team right here, we have Puyol. We have a few team of the seasons. We've got Larson. We've got a really nice team. Let's all be fair. The guy is clearly allergic to gold cards because he doesn't like it. But this guy fake shots into the Larson space a lot. We do get a clearance there. We're trying to get this ball away from our goal. But somehow it keeps bouncing towards him. we got Bakayoko to Suzoko. Suzoko to St. Maximum. St. Maximum with a little scoop down around the corner. We're just going to go for the shot. If he's not pressuring us there, that's just his problem. Let's all be fair now. Now it's 67th minute now. Daniel James on the ball. Daniel James fake shot. Trying to get an open space. Passes to Neymar. Neymar going to cut back towards the same way. Then turn him inside out. Go for the cross goal finish. And we do end up going 2-0 up. 74th minute now. Little through ball towards the Dharma Traore. The guy stuttered, stutters me with the keeper. But he should have brought it all the way. Somehow Adama doesn't finish it. But it does luckily bounce out to us once again. Towards saying maximum. Now we are actually on the FIFA 19. This is what I showed on the stream. Look how good. My team was back in FIFA 19, and look at my team now. Okay, look at the look at the difference between doing player reviews and all of these, you know, SBCs, spending coins and those compared to not. And I didn't spend a penny. I didn't spend a penny on FIFA 19. I didn't spend any FIFA points on it. It this was just dry, the grinding out the game, getting to multiple top 100s, multiple 30 and O's. It was just all of that coming into play. And look at it. I wish, I wish, I had this team. Because if I, I if I had this team, this FIFA, we're getting 30 of those for days. It's simple as that. But we go into the next game. 
uh, Sen, we got Maradona, we got Butragueno, Vidal. We got a really good team to be fair to you. 14th minute now, pass to Saint Maximum, scooped around the corner. We do go for the near post shot. It is offside, which is always going to be unfortunate. But we just we know we can break him down clear of day, so we're going to just continue trying to do what, what we do best and trying to score goals. Saint Maximum trying to find a space to Neymar. We do find a space to Neymar. He did, does miss a chance. I believe that is my fault, though. I should be doing a little finesse around the corner. Neymar to St. Maximum. Little turns. Absolutely sending the guy the wrong way. I turned, what, three times there? Faking three different directions. And then I finally took the shot. Beautiful footwork by Max to James. James back to Max. Max, I'm going to try to pass it to Neymar. And just like that, we have got our second goal. Now, what I could have potentially done there was actually pass back to James. But... I was like, mm, the guy's probably going to com commit towards James and I can, you know, pass it to Neymar here. But this is always going to be nice. This is not one of our one of my views. This is just a random person giving away free wins. They usually do it if they have uh, leftover games and they're trying to, you know, they're trying to be nice, which is always nice to see, obviously. But I'll take that win all day of the week. And we do play this team, which is quite an interesting team. But, you know, I don't really look at the team too much unless it's like a really, really super team. That's when I have to start looking at it a little bit. But if it's not like that, like, you know, the team of the year, Ronaldo's and stuff, I don't look at it a lot. Now, we do have St. Maximum on the ball, sending the guy completely the wrong way. We do go 2-0 up in the 30th minute. And are we going to get a rage quit? Okay, the guy's going to continue. 35th minute now, Daniel James on the ball. Trying to find a gap, pass towards Neymar. Neymar does a uh, drag back into the near post, using the outside foot shot angle to its full potential. And we do end up going 3-0 up with a rage quit now this guy has a really nice team as well he's got the valencia the tevez paul skulls was a bit of a you know a bit of a sticky one i don't really expect people use to use paul skulls but robert Firmino has a chance to go one nil up here personally i don't believe that's actually offside but we move on at the end of the day 10 minutes in saint maximum beautiful ball roll can we get a shot into the near post neymar finishes out all day of the week 16 minutes now, Suzoko to Neymar, Neymar to Saint Maximum, a little scoop turn around the corner, and we do end up getting our second goal to 17 minutes in. The guy is not going to rage quit, but then he does pause the game here, and we say bye bye. Simple as that. We got Team of the Year, Dion, Dalglish, Vieira, Team of the Year, Delict. We got a really, really nice team. 30 minutes in, we do end up having our first chance of Dharma. You could call it a bit of luck, and I would honestly potentially call it a luck as well. But if my neymar is missing a wide open header like that i don't know what to say it was like it turned from luck to unlucky in literally a split second i read that all day of the week with boateng you can literally see me drag my boateng into the passing lane doesn't lock onto it somehow he gets a goal james on the ball beautiful literally everything there is beautiful the little the little hezzy to the left just to get the angle that acceleration but we're coming into the 45th minute now boating on the ball beautiful pass can i like that pass like boating does between the two players there is so so crucial it's ridiculous just to get the angle to shoot but it is going to be one all we're sending delict team of the year delict for a complete hot dog and neymar misses that neymar misses the wide open chance. God knows how, but we move on because St. Maximum does make us go 2-1 up in the 61st minute. And he does end up rage quitting straight after the second goal. If that doesn't show you how he was literally winning the game undeservedly, I really don't know what can. This guy's got Yashin. That's how he's got an amazing team. But we do have St. Maximum Neymar up front and they can pretty, pretty much challenge anyone they want. 27 minutes in, we do go 1-0 up. Really nice goal. Saying maximum on the ball though. Little fake shots. Trying to get again angle. We do go to the outside. Do a few step overs. Go for the near post. I love doing the step overs now. And not sometimes doing the scoop time around the corner. Because during the uh, scoop time around the corner. You get this animation where he does it. And then there's like a little little break in between. But while you're doing the step overs around the corner. You get like that instant acceleration. Where you can go straight towards the goal. And have an instant shot. But this guy does end up getting a really good opportunity here with Timo Werner. He does end up, I believe, it was passing it. Yes, it is. And it's a good goal, to be fair to him. It was well worked. 14th minute in. We are 1-0 down. Suzoko on the ball. Passes to Neymar. I'm just going to take the shot because I have used Neymar so much time this year. So I am literally like used to what kind of shots they can take. And that is one all going into the second half. And a guy rage quits. This guy literally said, I will take a one-all draw. Screw it. 
I, what, what kind of mindset is that? I don't get it. But we do end up going into the next game. And just like that, we are 1-0 up. Because Robert Firmino makes it like a beautiful finish into the far corner. St. Maxwell, the little hill to hill. The little power shot into the near post is never going to get saved. 2-0 up, just like that in 14th minute. Coming to the 26th minute now. St. Maxwell and flip flap, bull roll. Trying to create an angle. Beautiful footwork. Just a little combo where you're trying to create space, but you're trying to, uh, like, pretty much examine. Uh, examine? Is it? No, examine. That's it. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, just how the like the opponent is kind of playing see where he was going to move the player and that's when you have to be more calm and composed than anything but we do potentially go 4-1 up here coming into the 50th minute now can we go 5-1 up scooped around a corner makes it five and the guy is still not going to rage quit he's taking his time he wants more goals comes into the 62nd minute now and he has finally said to himself this game is over so let me stop wasting my time because this guy now has team of the year simon Lucas, he's got a really good team to be fair to you. Robert Firmino does the flip-flap, absolutely sending the defender the wrong way in the first four minutes. That flip-flap was rude and if you saw my reaction on stream, you wouldn't be surprised. Now we do the drag back in between the both defenders and we do end up going 2-0 up in the 40th minute. You can, you can obviously see this guy was actually good because it's taking me 60 minutes to score three goals. What a scoop turn it is back stick. I obviously say to myself, it's very, very unlucky. Let's all be fair. A person that is doing a goal line clearance. I believe it was AI running back towards the goal. But at the end of the day, it's one of those situations where if he hits it into his own face and it goes into the back of the net, it's always going to be lucky. Now, this guy does have David Luiz, Mateus, Kante, which was quite interesting because we got three sentiments at CDMs there. So I was quite intrigued on what formation this guy was playing. But six minutes in, we do get our first chance and we do end up going 1-0 up. So a quick early kickoff goal, just like that. 13th minute now, same maximum. I guess I'm going to do a fake shot around the corner. I'll probably cut it back. Try to do a drag back. There you go. I pretty much read every single way I was going to go because I'm, you know, I, I watch myself play sometimes and you just have to think to yourself what you would do in that situation and I do end up doing it. Now, Neymar do, does get a second chance here and he does make it 2-0. We should have had, what, two goals before, but we move on. We got Neymar once again, just a quick turn. I don't know what kind of touches that was. Like he made it go up and then made him volley it, which I clearly didn't want. But James on the ball, this guy's completely taking me out. It's clear of day he wants to leave the game. I make him leave the game. Just like that, we play a super team. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Team of the, is it team of the, a foot birthday Mbappe, you got Hulu, you got pretty much everyone. And I gave this guy space with foot birthday Mbappe. He's completely destroyed me. With a beautiful flip flap, this guy was a really good player. I do a turn, I do the hill to hill. That should be a goal. That should be a goal all day of the week. And I believe if that was foot birthday Mbappe like his one was, that's going in all day of the week. Now we do get a second chance here in the 51st minute. We have who? Team Midi Year Ronaldo. Yes, I did sub him on. It was a loan card, as you clearly could see. We do have one game on him. And I said to myself, I'm breaking this guy down, but I'm not getting that clear cut, like not the clear cut, sorry, the good, good finishes for my teammates, for my, yeah, for my, you know what I mean, for my team pretty much. And it was just that potential thing where I need a person that's going to be clinical inside the box. So Ronaldo did come out clutch and look at this, Adama Traore on the two star weak foot. What a finish it was. So you're telling me St. Maximum can't finish the other chance, but when it comes down to Adama on that weaker foot. It was like a low driven, but it wasn't. And it was quite interesting to see. But I'll take that all day of the week. Now, we do end up being that guy 2-1. What a super team he has. But look at this team. Red Messi, Red Griezmann. Interesting. 16th minute in, though. Bakayoko plays an RBA towards St. Maximum. The guy tries to move the keeper because if you try to move the keeper in that angle, yeah, sometimes they do save it, but... You also have to understand it's Saint Maximum on the ball, and if you don't move it really, really early, he's never gonna he's never gonna save it. And we do go 2-0 up against that super team. 93 Mbappe. Apparently, all the red cards are coming out today. All the good red cards are coming out today. And he does get an early chance here with Neymar. I really thought that was gonna go into the back of the net. And I do believe it should have, but if he takes it first time. Then there's that 50-50 chance of it not actually going into the back of the net. But what a turn that was. The little Ronaldo chop. The Ronaldo chop turn to get the pass towards the Dama Traore is so, so overpowered. We do end up getting a free kick here. The guy didn't move the keeper. Well, he did. He moved him backwards. But 
I was like, that's not enough. I don't believe it's enough. And I'm pretty decent at free kicks this year. And look at that. Green time. The keeper doesn't even move. We do go 2-0 up against this team. And it's looking like a W. It is. It really is. But you can't really call it off at 2-0. I'm watching the replay for a bit because I'm obviously celebrating with my stream. Uh, watching the chat go a bit mental. And we do end up getting a rage quit. And that is always nice to see that we do end up on 29 to 1 once again. 29 to 1 slash 29 to 0 for the past, I believe it's five weeks now. And it has to stop because we didn't end up getting top 100. And it was the most annoying thing because, like, it's one of those situations where it's 29s back to back to back. But we do end on monthly top 100 and we did end on 17th not 14th this was obviously recorded before but we did i actually checked it today and we ended on 17th in the world my best ever finish monthly first in the world back to back months i believe i'm the only player to ever do it as far as i know i have checked quite a few but i do believe i am the only player to ever go back to back first in the world monthly that was last year though this year it's kind of new but if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment and for now peace